Hi everyone, welcome to Keto Blogging and in this video I will show you how you can customize your Filtro Pro theme. So this is going to be part 2 and I have up already uploaded the part 1 video so you can check out in the channel and I also leave that link in the description. So here in this video we will discuss how you can add table of content in Filtro Pro theme. That's basically some type of automatic table of content. And then I will show you how you can disable search description under post title. And then I will show you how to change the share button position from the top to the bottom in the post page. And then I will show you how to add code box, post break, show and hide button, accordion, buttons, block codes and node block. So let me just quickly show you how it looks. So if I go to Flitro Pro theme and here as you can see you can add code box like this, you can add a post break you can add show and hide button like this you can add accordion menu like this you can add different type of buttons external links and here you can see this type of download button like that you can add the block code block like this or node block you can also add lazy load youtube videos so let's start the video by the way if you found this content helpful then make sure to hit the like button First check how you can add table of content in Flitro Pro theme. So we are going to add table of content in this post and as you can see there are some headings like conclusion, more about SEO, how does SEO works. So it will automatically generate the table of content for you in Flitro Pro theme. So let me just go to that blog post here and then you need to switch to HTML view first and then you need to find the position where you want to add the table of content. So let me just add the table of content just after the image. So what I can do is find the image code here and then I will hit enter and I will add the table of content code. So let me just copy the table of content code from here. So I will just copy a code snippet like this and I will paste the code snippet here. And by the way, let me just test the page speed before and after adding the table of content. So you can get the idea if this code is affecting your page speed or not. So let me just go to page speed dot web dot dev and then let's paste the post URL and analyze and let me just scroll down and check for file size and as you can see the total page size is 79 KB 79.1 KB and now let's go to post and we have added the table of content code. So let's update this. Let me just go to the post and refresh this page and as you can see the table of content is added and I can also see that the show all and show less button is working and I can easily jump to different heading like this. Now let me just go to the post and switch to compose view here and let me just change this type of SEO to heading like this. So I will go to heading. And let me just update this. Now let me just refresh this page. Earlier there is three headings showing in the table of content. So let me just refresh this page first. And as you can see the type of SEO is added in the table of content. So in this way the script will automatically find the heading in your post and add it to your table of content. So I have already made a video on how to add manual table of content. If you don't want to use any script then you can also use the manual table of content. So let me just copy the URL from here again. So let me just copy the URL. Now let's open the page speed inside in a new tab. Let's analyze the page again. Okay, let me just scroll down and if I check the page size, it is around 79.2 KB and earlier it was 79.1 KB. So there is no such difference in page size. So you can easily use the automatic table of content in Flitro Pro theme. Now let's check how you can disable search description under posts title. So let me just show you how it works. So if I go to settings here and I will scroll down and here I will see this option meta text and let me just enable the search description here. Now let me just go to one of the post and open a post here and under the post setting you will see this option search description. So let me just add a search description from here and I will paste it here and let's update this post 
now let me just go to the post and refresh this page and as you can see there is a little bit of search description just after the title so you can if you don't want this meta description just after the title then you can also remove that so for this you need to remove a code like this deep class post description so let me just select this class like post description here and i will go to theme code here and i will click on edit html and then i will type control plus f and search for that code and here you can see that deep class post description data block meta description so you can just comment it like this or you can remove this code altogether if you don't want it anymore then you can also remove that section and you can also remove whole if condition if you want now let's click on save okay now the theme code is saved let me just go to front end and let's refresh this page and as you can see that search description is gone so in this way you can remove that meta description from your theme now let's move on to the third topic how to change the share button position in post page so as you can see that this is the share button and if i want to move this share button position just below the conclusion or just after the author box then you can also do that so for this you need to search a code like this share button just simply search for share button on your theme code so what i can do is simply type control plus f and search for share button and as you can see you will see this option share buttons and you need to copy this line of code b include condition data post and post info share so you need to copy this code and you need to search for post bottom add and you need to paste it just after it and just before the post writer that means author section so in this way you can move this share button position from top to bottom so let me just save the code first okay now the code is saved let me just refresh this page and as you can see the share button is gone from the top section and it will be showing after the conclusion and just before the author section so we have completed the three sections here now let's check how you can add different writing customizations like how you can add a code box in your flutter pro theme so let me just close this here and as you can see this is a code box like this and if i want to show a code box in my theme then what i can do is just go to post here let's click on new post here and i can simply name it like code box and i will switch to html view here and then i need to add a code so i can type something like pre and then i will type like code and then i need to add my html code so for this i need to copy some html code here and you need to parse the html code before using it in the code box so i have already made a html parse tool in techlib so you can just log in to techlib and then under the tool section you will see this option html parse tool and then you need to paste that html code here and click on parse code after that it, it will pass the html code so let's click on copy code to clipboard now let's go to the post editor and let me just paste the code here now you need to add close the code box so i will type less than forward slash code and then i will type close the pre tag like this and you can also add uh, something like html css right after the codings and as you can see dot html and you can also do that by adding a small class in the code box like class html so let me just copy that in pre tag here and let's add the class here now let me just publish this and as you can see there there is showing dot html in this code box so in this way you can change this 
code like if you want to show CSS then you can simply add the class equal to CSS and let's refresh this post and as you can see it is showing dot CSS so this is how you can add code box in your Flutter Pro theme now let's check how you can add a post break in your theme code so to add the post break you need to add this code like this i class separate so let me just open an existing post here what is seo now let's add a post break just after the paragraph tag so let's add the post break here i class separate now let's update this page and let me just preview this page here and let me just scroll down and as you can see the post break is added after the paragraph now let's check how we can add a show and hide button so if i click on the show all button it will reveal the text under it so you can also do a button like this so let me just go to the post and let me just add a code like this so slash hide button so let me just copy this and paste it now you can change this button like you can also add the question what is seo and you can explain the term what is seo so i can simply say that seo stand for something like that so you can just copy the text here and i can just paste it here now let me just update this post now let me just scroll down and search for this and as you can see that it will show what is seo and when i click on show all button it will show the definition of seo so in this way you can add a show and hide button in your flutter pro theme now let's check how you can add an accordion menu in your flutter pro theme so to add the accordion menu you can also use a code like this so let me just copy the accordion menu code from here and let me just add the accordion code here like this and here you can see that you can change the accordion title here and you can change the answer here and you can also add second question from here and you can add the answer here so in this way this accordion button work so i have already done a video on faq so you can use the accordion block to add your faq section in your post and make sure to add the faq schema separately if you want to show um, rich result in search result then you should add the faq schema now let me just refresh this page and let me just scroll down and search for the accordion block and as you can see the accordion section is working fine so now let's check how you can add some external links or external buttons like that so for this you can use some codes like this anchor class external buttons and you can add buttons and you can add the icon of download like this and you can also add demo button like this icon demo so it will show a icon like this and you can also add two buttons simultaneously just by using this code deep class button info and there is one download section and one is demo section and you can change the link in this hash value here and you can also add something like whatsapp button or buy now button so as you can see this is the anchor class and you can change the link of this button here in the hash value and here you can change the text whatsapp button like that and this is the svg code of whatsapp so you can basically add any svg code here in this place and make it your own customized button in your filter pro theme now in the same way there is a cart svg code added here and you can change the text by now and change the link here and in the same way there is a file name button here and as you can see it is download info and there is file type you can change the file type to something like zip pdf or document and you can add the file name here file name dot zip and here you can change the file size here as you can see that and here in this section you can add the download button link so you can change the download button link in the hash value so this is how the download buttons work in flutter pro theme so i will leave the link of this code link in the description so you can just download and use this code in your flutter pro theme and then you can add a block code here and as you can see this is how the block code works so you have to add the block code tag here and 
close the block code tag and if you want to display the block code like this and you can also do that just by adding this class equal to style one so it will show a different type of block code and in the same way you can add node block here and as you can see that this is paragraph tag and i have added a class of node so it will show a node block like this and there is another paragraph with node and node alert and it will show a alert node box like this and in the same way you can also add a lazy load youtube videos so you have to copy this code and then you need to add the video id here so if i go to youtube and let me just copy this link here and let me just open the notepad and let me just paste it here and as you can see that this the video id is here so you can just change the video id here in this position and it will add the lazy load youtube videos in your filtro pro theme and i have made several videos on lazy load images videos analytics code adsense code so you can watch those videos to improve the page speed of your website so i hope i have covered different customization techniques in filtro pro theme and that's it for the part 2 video and if you want me to make more such videos on filtro pro customizations then make sure to hit the like button and do subscribe our channel for future updates and i will see you in the next video thank you